You want to play Minecraft Java Edition with a controller, whether it's an Xbox controller like this, a PlayStation controller, or even a Switch controller, a Steam Deck, it doesn't really matter. You want to play Minecraft with a controller, and this video is going to show you exactly how to do that using Midnight Controls. Midnight Controls is a mod that adds full controller support to Minecraft Java Edition. It's super, super cool, and actually basically plays very similar and exactly like really Bedrock Edition. So if you've played Xbox or PlayStation, Minecraft before with a controller, this is going to feel super familiar to you. First things first, you want to go to the second link in the description down below. That will take you here. This is Midnight Control's official download page on Modrinth. From here, go ahead and click on versions. And then we've got to do some filtering because there's a lot going on here. We want to filter for the platform, fabric, and the game version 1.21.4. So this is what we're looking for, game version 1.21.4, platforms, fabric, quilt. That's okay that it's two there. And then go ahead and click on the green download button on the right-hand side. After a few seconds, the download will begin. You may need to keep or save the file exactly like this, which we're going to go ahead and do. It's 100% safe to do that. And while that's downloading, have a notice from our company, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash sgh to start your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server, where you can play Minecraft with a controller on your server. On top of that, you can add other mods, any mod that you want, really, and you can install hundreds of mod packs with one-click installation. Plus, there's expert live chat support there to help you out along the way, should you run into any issues. So, stop strong and host a Minecraft server and start your Minecraft server the simple way at the first link in the description down below the breakdown dot xyz says sgh nevertheless with midnight controls downloaded there's two more things we need to get the first is the fabric api this is a mod that basically adds in a few different functionalities to minecraft in the fabric mod loader it's linked in the description down below and that will take you to in-depth guide on getting it once you're here go ahead and click on download fabric api to go to the official download page on curseforge from there go ahead and click on files and then you want to find the 1.21.4 version right here it is go ahead and click the three dots and click download file and the file will begin downloading. You may need to keep or save it just like pretty much everything we're downloading in this video but it's 100% safe to do that. You can see save there. Now we need to get the fabric mod loader itself. Fabric is the mod loader that allows everything to work. It links these mods, specifically the controller mod, to Minecraft. In the description down below there's our in-depth guide. We're going to be going over the basics in this video though. Go ahead and click download fabric and that will take you to fabric's official download page where all you've got to do is click on this download universal jar link link here. When you click on that, it will go ahead and start downloading. Again, may need to keep or save it depending on your browser. Now we can go ahead and minimize our browser and move all of these files to our desktop just for ease of use. They're going to be in my downloads folder, but for you, they're wherever your files typically download to. So as you can see here, we have the Fabric Installer, the Fabric API, and most importantly, Midnight Controls, our controller mod. Now let's go ahead and install Fabric. To do that, we're going to be using this Fabric Installer file. Right click on it, click on Open With, and then click Java. But what if you you don't have Java here or what if you click Java and it doesn't work well in that case you need to get Java 21 Java 21 is required for Minecraft 1.21 mods like our controller mod here and we have an in-depth guide on getting it down below we also have the jar fix link down below this is going to take the jar files your computer like the fabric mod and link them back to Java making them work happily together but first get Java then run the jar fix nevertheless we can go ahead and install fabric by right clicking on it clicking on open with clicking Java and now we'll open up the fabric installer make sure 1.21.4 is selected and make sure create profile is checked and click install. The reason this wouldn't work is if Minecraft and the Minecraft launcher are open. Make sure both of those are closed when installing Fabric and you're going to have to have played Minecraft 1.21.4 before. I know sometimes accessibility issues may be why you want to use a controller in Minecraft. Unfortunately, you will have to just open Minecraft in the main menu from the Minecraft launcher. Once you've done that, you can close out of it and this mod installation will work. You don't have to actually play the game. Fortunately, you just have to launch it. Unfortunately, that's just a thing that Fabric needs in order for the files to be there and work and install on 1.21.4. Now, at this point, we can go ahead and close out of the Fabric installer and completely delete it. We don't need this Fabric installer file anymore. Now, what we want to do is open up the Minecraft launcher. Then, in the Minecraft launcher, do not play Minecraft. We can install these mods before even launching the game, which is absolutely amazing. So, to do that, we want to go ahead and go to installations up here at the top, and then we want to make sure modded is checked. If it's not, Fabric won't be there, but when you check modded there it is there's fabric but don't play minecraft yet and as long as you've got fabric 1.21.4 you can skip like 30 seconds ahead because if you don't have fabric 1.21.4 here we need to create a new installation you can name this anything you want i'm going to name it simplegamehosting.com because that's the easiest way to play minecraft with your friends and then go ahead and click the versions drop down box here we want to select fabric loader 1.21.4 and then once you've done that you're good to go you can go ahead and click install but make sure launch after install is not checked if this is checked you're going to have to close Minecraft. So make sure launch after install is not checked. And then I'm going to set my resolution. 
We can click install and since that wasn't checked, it will now go ahead and get that set up. We have this simplegamehosting.com profile, but how do we install our mods? Well, to do that, hover over your fabric installation, either the one you created or the one that was there by default, and click on the folder icon. That'll open your Minecraft folder where you should have a mods folder, but if for whatever reason you don't, go ahead and right click, create a new folder, and title it mods, M-O-D-S, all lowercase, exactly like that, and then open your mods folder. Now drag and drop Midnight Controls and the Fabric API into the mods folder right like so. Once they're in here, you're done. Now you can play Minecraft, but you have to play it with your Fabric installation. Again, either one you created or the one that's there by default. If you don't play Minecraft with Fabric, unfortunately, the mods won't work including the controller mod. You will need to confirm you're playing mod in Minecraft by clicking play twice there, and then now we can go ahead and plug in our controller. Sometimes you will need to install additional things when you launch a controller mod. Since I've done this tutorial before, that's not necessarily going to happen, but if you're prompted to install a codec or install something like that in Minecraft, you're going to go ahead and do that. It's just going to make things more compatible for you. Now, once we're in game, I had to unplug and replug my controller, and we can go ahead and start using it to navigate. As you can see here, I am using the D-pad to and navigate here we can go to multiplayer we can click proceed and even join a server like a server from simple game hosting here so we can go ahead and click on that and it will connect on into the server i do want to mention some different settings that you can change because it's kind of cool all the stuff you can do and again i do want to mention when i got in game this was not working i had to unplug and just replug the controller and it immediately connected from that but like i said it's like bedrock so we can press y to open our inventory a to jump we can double press forward on the left stick and it will run and we can of course pause with the well pause button i don't even know what else to call it i guess select but we can go into options here and we can go up to controls in the top right so in the top right we have this and this is the controls config so you can edit a few different advanced things here as you can see all the different modes and stuff like that you can just it's really kind of crazy all that can be changed there's also in controls if we go up to the top right there the keybinds and different gameplay options and stuff like that, that you can change as well there's a tons of stuff that you can basically change here so controller bindings if you wanted to make forward something else you could do that but there you have it that's how you can get a controller working in Minecraft Java Edition. If you've got any questions, let us know in the comments. Enjoy playing Minecraft Java with a controller. We'll see you in the next video, and I'm out. Peace.